Before we get into this weekly tarot reading for you, I just want to say that I love you so much and I really want to let you know how extremely appreciative I am of you choosing to watch this video, even if it's just for a few minutes. I love you so much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. If you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading today, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do because that is how I keep up with you Pisces is through the comments. As well, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, Pisces, or you just enjoy my vibe, darling, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it, Pisces, when you do that for me um, but remember to use your intuition because put it in perspective Pisces I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you honey you know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever I believe the tarot cards these tarot readings are just here to give you some food for thought today a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week Pisces but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards so with all that being said honey let's just get into your weekly whole horoscope reading today, Pisces. So, Nine of Cups tried to step forward, um, but I don't feel like having this pulled out for you, Pisces, but I do want to have that step forward. I feel like that more so is just uh, uh, for my Pisces that have recently pulled the Nine of Cups. Uh, it's just like a random message that I had because um, I don't feel like getting into that card. So I feel like some Pisces uh, recently pulled a Nine of Cups probably prior to this reading or they received a reading recently that had the Nine of Cups being like the strong point. But uh, let's just see. I want to see right now where my Pisces are currently at uh, in their journey. How are my Pisces feeling? Now, I know for you, Pisces, you guys were going through a little bit of a, um, how would we say, your imposter syndrome right you guys were going you pisces have been struggling to break out of this creative rut with some sort and really unapologetically you know being seen and having your you know creative like thoughts fly so the ten of air comes in for you guys so you guys are coming out of it i enjoy this a lot pisces so i'm happy to see this honey uh this card says the end of a difficult situation embracing the change and expect things to get better now uh recovering from an addiction so some of you guys may have been i don't ever like to go into this last part really i feel like those are just like those personal hurdles uh that my pisces are just generally going like a little interruption as well i am doing actually a giveaway for you guys since we're hitting ten thousand. so if you would like to enter the giveaway i'm just going to be doing a chance to give someone a chance to have a live reading done with me or a reading done by me uh, own their own personal reading whether it's live or recorded so all the information will be down below it's a quick simple process of joining my new discord and it'll be pretty self-explanatory but yeah let's get back into your reading darling and even not just pisces in general in specific rather pisces but just people in general they're always going through we're all just going through our own like personal addictions whether it's like our vices is drinking or smoking or if our addiction is even just like tarot readings and receiving a bunch of tarot readings right um, I feel so, uh, Pisces, that you guys are just breaking out of some bad habit that just hasn't been conducive for you. Um, and that's part of the reason why things are looking up for you is because you're breaking some type of bad habit. And because of that, you're opening up to a lot more, uh, energies. So let's get some clarifiers on this, Pisces. Let's see what's going on here. Just Ten of Swords, Ten of Air. Let's see here. Nine of Pentacles coming in here. All right now, darling. Nine of Pentacles coming in here. Showing to me again. So definitely, I would say for you, Pisces, whatever it is that you've been trying to build up to, whatever it is that you've been kind of... Well, no, I don't even want to say that. You got... Because I feel like, Pisces, you've been struggling with something. I know, obviously, with um, your own inner thoughts and just how you perceive your own work uh, you guys have been struggling with. But I feel like there's just like part of another reason as to why you guys have been reclusing a little bit. Um, that's completely separate from everything that has just been probably very emotionally taxing, especially now that I'm thinking about that Cubs card from before. Um, wow, this is like a sad, like, message, but I don't, I guess I shouldn't filter it, and I guess I spoke about it now. But it's like, I'm almost associating, oh my gosh, am I gonna get cry? Um, it's just like the example, but it's like, uh, there's been like some really internal like demon that battle that you've been fighting, uh, Pisces or someone that's like really almost feel like it's something related to like, uh, like a loved one, a close loved one. 
I feel like you guys were like wishing for like their situation to get better um, or wishing for some type of health thing to get better. Uh, honey, I did too much time on this makeup to be crying, honey. Um, but it's like you got like your wish granted to you um, of where it's something that was like such a heavy stress. And I do feel like it's kind of health related. Um, and now once now that you guys got over this like final stretch and you have this wish granted to you of like someone getting better, or something improving. Now it's like finally allowing you to just take a moment and be like, huh. Okay, now that's looking up. Now you can put your focuses in on other things. And so you don't feel as selfish, right? Nine of Pentacles, it's very easy for an individual to feel like they're being selfish by wanting to go after their own things, especially if there's something going on with someone else. Um, it just feels like you're able to put more of your energy, focus more of your energy on something else now, Pisces. Ooh, honey. <laughs> that's just such a, because I can relate to it so heavily. Uh, Pisces, right? Whenever my mom was going through cancer, right? That was like my number one wish. <laughs> um, as feel, I feel like most people can relate is when um, it was just like wishing. It's like, oh, I'll do anything. Just make sure that my mother makes it out, right? So I feel like it's in that sense uh, for you, uh, Pisces. But we don't need to make this reading too sad, darling, right? Temperance card coming in here. You've been biding your time for this, though, Pisces. You've been... <sighs> and also I want to just talk about like the cups being the representation of emotions being balanced out for you. I do just feel like things are just, you've been patient at this time. You haven't been trying to rush things. You've been waiting for whatever it is to figure itself out and heal. And now you're just like, okay, now it's this my turn to focus in on that Nine of Pentacles energy uh, and really look at the things that you've been kind of missing out on for some time because you just haven't had the time to focus in on it, uh, Pisces. This Four of uh, Pentacles showing up for you, not Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups showing up for you. It's something that you, I feel like it's like an opportunity where you've been banging on your door and you just, it's been like the right opportunity, just the wrong timing, Pisces, because you're dealing with this other situation, right? And I feel like this is something now you're stepping into being able to connect with this energy the thing that you've been ignoring for some m amount of time pisces let's close this uh row off though with the wheel of fortune coming in in the reverse for you this is probably yeah i feel like for <laughs> a lot of you pisces it feels like you guys have felt as if like you regressed because you've been having to like take care of so many other things before you could focus on your own personal projects, your own personal things with that nine of pentacles. Um, and so I feel like things are finally starting to look up for you again, uh, the, where like you've been ex probably experiencing like a long streak of bad luck, Pisces and things are again, probably even some of what you guys have wished for is just like no longer experiencing that string of bad luck. Um, so now let's get into Pisces. Let's see how this journey is going to continue on for you this week. We have the release card, Archangel Azrael. You guys already know this. Uh, actually, you guys don't know this spiel. Write down the number 11, Pisces. Um, if you, f to look up later, rather, to see for numerology, to see how it correlates with your reading. As well, uh, if your spirituality uh, is open to this practice, uh, Pisces, Archangel Azrael is reaching out to you this week. Should you be open to connecting with them and working with their energies, right? Don't feel pressured to, though, darling. I'm just a messenger, right? I like to let you know your options. That's all I'm here for, honey. Uh, this card says the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, and time to move on. So you are moving on. Like, I feel like really, uh, I really do feel like, let me know what that Nine of Cups is for you, Pisces. It's very, uh, you guys are finally going into this new direction after I feel like just like a break. You're finally experiencing a break. Uh, ego card coming in here as well. Number six for numerology, Archangel Jophiel. You already know the spiel now, honey. Uh, as I drop this card. Uh, this card says a false sense of entrapment, being overtly focused on the material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So uh, funny how we talk about the addiction from uh, the Ten of Swords and then we get into like the addiction card, the ego card, which would also be like the devil card in normal tarot. Um, so it's showing to me, it's funny how it's just in this dynamic of like, again, just releasing, like you guys are just, uh, Pisces really releasing a lot of bad juju in your life. Something I just feel called to tell you guys, Pisces, I normally kind of don't push my own practices in terms of my, in, for my readings, just because 
it's just not the place, I guess, I feel. Um, but I really do get this sense uh, Pisces, you would benefit from like having some type of black stone. This is a black tourmaline. It's really cheap, Pisces. It's like, tw I got, I think I spent like 20, 15 bucks on this hunk of a log. You can get a giant, like tourmaline is really cheap. So don't ever be overpaying for a honey, right? But I feel like you guys could benefit from like a black tourmaline would be a really cheap option that you can get online. Um, and just, you know, as you're going through like this, I do feel like you guys are releasing a lot, um, just meditating with that and just keeping that around you in your space. Um, I feel like would really help you guys out. I do feel like you guys, Pisces, need an outlet that's outside of like your creative pursuits is something that I'm just getting. I, uh, this is more so, keep in mind, me just channeling the message more so than anything without any tarot cards, Pisces. So take that as you will, right? As Tyler's tarot likes to say, just go along with it. So let's get into some clarifiers. The Fool card in the reverse coming in here. So I want to get into more cards before we get into this, because you already know the Fool card is my favorite card, honey. So I want to know why this is in the reverse for you. Eight of Wands in the reverse as well. So this has been your inner demon, uh, Pisces, kind of going along in this sense as well from your previous readings excuse me um of where you guys were talking about i was talking about before where you guys have been going through that imposter syndrome you guys are still releasing this it feels like again i don't know it just feels like you guys are able to put more time pisces into self-work this week and like the things that you've been doubting in yourself that have been stopping you from really stepping into your power into this new journey right because i do feel like with this this is more of so like a sense of where it's like example pisces let's say um i like to use examples the best like you know maybe you have the opportunity to really put your art out there right from making your passion like something that actually can give, give you some type of monetary gain right and making it like a career but your lack of vision with yourself you doubting yourself all the time pisces stopped you from stepping into this new journey as the fool right because you haven't been wanting to try it out. So because perhaps you've been doubting yourself or whatever that ego de devil card situation is for you. I'm just using that as an example. Um, breaking out of it this week, though. Knight, or Page of Swords in the reverse here. All right. With the Three of Cups here. So this is showing to me almost like a social dynamic here. Um, for some of you, Pisces, there is someone in your life, something that really was doing the opposite Pisces and uh, for like you know how people always say well I say it as well Every, like the concept is generally a belief surely uh, where it's like surround yourself with good people that help motivate you surround yourself put yourself in an environment that inspires you rather than demotivates you is something that like was demotivating you is this part of the ego card the moon card coming up in the reverse as well as the ten of swords okay so yeah this is definitely uh several part pork there's a lot of layers to the situation this week for you i guess is what i'm trying to say pisces um it's almost like you're realizing part of like your own self-image issues are because of some people in your life maybe you were you know i don't feel like it's necessarily bad intent but maybe it's just like someone's banter just is too much page of cups yeah it does feel like you're just having a bit like let me just tell the storyline, Pisces. This is like someone that practices some bad banter with you and has you in your feelings or just being in an environment. Maybe you're around, like the people that you always watch yourself around that's kind of in your same interest or field. You maybe you experience imposter syndrome where like you compare yourself and you're just like, oh, I'm not like them. I'm not good enough. Right. You have like it feels like you have like a toxic relationship um with something in your life that not isn't like inherent like isn't inherently toxic um necessarily like the actions will like whatever is existing in this isn't necessarily inherently toxic but how you were perceiving it at one point or receiving this was toxic like it was not doing you very good you know how some people will have like in like they'll follow um people in their interests right let's just say like i follow other tarot readers just because they're in my field and i'm inspired by them right what would should should be like something that's inspiring actually got me and would get me in my head and be like oh maybe my tarot readings aren't good enough right maybe i need to do more right and i probably feel like this is in your same field as well that you would relate to pisces and so I feel like you're changing up from this though um i hope this that example makes sense though in that dynamic pisces but um now let's see how this is going to pan out for you this week we have the eight of air eight of swords 
uh, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, and afraid to take action. So, Pisces, your biggest hurdle this week is going to be, like, breaking out of just, like, your shell again. Like, very much so, like... And I have to, I know I have to be patient with my Pisces here, right? You guys gotta just work through your own self-limiting thoughts, but I just wish Eight of Swords in the reverse. What, come on now, Pisces. It's showing to me that you guys are the, because this is the result of it. Obviously, you guys are gonna break from it, right? Oh my gosh. Y'all's reading Pisces is so powerful. I've been having some powerful readings for y'all recently. Um, yeah. This is just such a, you guys need to break out of your shell, right? <laughs> this is literally the inverted version of the eight of air. Come on now. Uh, we have the six of cups coming in here. So definitely uh, being more vulnerable with people in your life, being more vulnerable and being able to be okay with receiving as well, right? Maybe very much so. This is like y'all Pisces are like the ones that would be like someone's trying to give you a gift and you would feel guilty or bad about receiving the gift because you feel like you're not worthy of it or you're not worth the time or the money the investing that they had. Ace of Wands coming in as well for you. I like this a lot with the eight of or nine of Wands coming in, completing this storyline for you, Pisces. I love this. Come on. This is really a straight up sense of where um, through you getting out of your own head and just being, you know, I use, I don't remember if it was your reading last week, Pisces, or if it was like maybe another water sign, but I know for some, some reading, some zodiac sign, uh, Pisces, I was told them as like closed mouths don't get fed. And I feel like this is in essence the same message for you, Pisces, where it's just like closed mouths don't get fed and you're realizing that, right? And you're close, you're keeping your mouth closed, Pisces, because of your own insecurities, because of this eight of air, this eight of swords energy that you needed to just get out of, right? And so now I, I see you guys getting out of it, you know, how long that takes. I mean, that's up to you, Pisces, right? You don't need some tarot cards to tell you that. When are you, when are you going to break that cycle yourself, darling? Acknowledging the issue is 90% of the battle, in my opinion, because once you acknowledge something for what it is, right, then you kind of have no reason not to work on it, right? Then you're making kind of the choice of further engaging in it. But now, Pisces, all that being said, let's get into your social your social reading this week, your love reading this week for, for some, right? I always like to say for this portion of the reading, Pisces, I always make it a point to say social because it's like we have more than just romantic in our life. So this can be for your work relationships, family and all that, right? Um, so we have here the Knight of Wands or Knight, Knight of Wands, Knight of Water. Uh, yeah. Knight of Cups, Knight of Water, falling in love or a wedding proposal, the need to balance your emotions, an invitation to a social event. So interesting. I don't want to speak on this too much, Pisces, until we get some cards, though. Two of Pentacles coming in in the reverse for you. Okay, with the Two of Cups. There's almost like somebody... Uh, Pisces that you weren't sure about and like being perhaps I say like being vulnerable or like there's like an offer coming in where you are <sighs> how do I want to put this Pisces it's almost like there's some type some type of offer or some type of person coming into your life where with this two of cups here you're going to like undoubtedly just have such a strong feeling or gravitation to it immediately um and just without question be like you're my person you're you know like i feel like you're really going to really connect deeper with some relationship in your life this week um strength card coming in here this is something again this partial i don't know if this is like a it, because Pisces, again, I know for your readings in the past, there was somebody that you wanted to connect with. There was some type of energy you wanted to work with. But again, your issue was like you felt as if they were out of your league or whatever. Strength card coming in here, though, lets me know with the death card. Yeah, there's like this sense here, Pisces, you had like you were so used to people in your life, relationships in your life, always hurting you, always disappointing you. Um, always, you know, I feel like you, Pisces, are... <sighs> <laughs> I always say that relationships in your life, your friendships should be not stressful. And like, if those kind of relationships in your life are bringing you stress, then they shouldn't be, those aren't good examples of relationships or friendships. And I feel like you need to be told this or reminded this Pisces that not all friendships are stressful. You guys just have had a really bad run of connections, I suppose. But um, now Pisces, let's get into your financial and career this week. Let's see what's going on here, darling. 
Ace of Air <laughs> coming in, Ace of Swords. Uh, so this card says, brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth in a situation and a challenging new beginning. I like this a lot. So this is really going into this idea, uh, Pisces, that you, you know, you had this idea, as I said before from the reference, where you're like, ooh, I could open up like an Etsy shop, for example, right? But you'd never bothered because like, or making like your personal project, like more of like a supporting role in your life. Um, or stronger supporting role in your life when it comes to your financial regards. And it feels like you're opening up and entertaining the possibility on these things. Three of Wands coming in here. Yeah, you are. Three of Wands stepping up with the Knight of Cups coming in. This may be directly even associated with their social thing that we have going on as well. Knight of Cups. Some type of opportunity presenting itself. Now, is it because of this Three of Wands where you already start going into this journey, Pisces? Or is this like connected to the is this knight of cups and three of wands connected in the sense that uh you get like a sign of where you need to sink your energy into like an opportunity presents itself right if you're an artist you get commissioned and you take that as your sign to be like all right i need to take this business more seriously i need to make it my business right ace of cups coming in here yeah this is definitely pisces you guys just engaging with this energy further seven of cups in the reverse and just making the choice uh in regards to your finances pisces you guys definitely need to just this is my week uh, this is going to be a week i would say is definitely um stepping into I feel like this is just definitely a week, Pisces, where allow this week to show you where you want to sink your energies into further. You know, if someone's interested in commissioning you, do not take that as a sign of where it's like, I mean, obviously it's luck, right? You should feel grateful for the opportunity, but take this as a sign of being like, oh, I could really do something with this, you know? Um, really claim your place, claim your role with something is something I'm just hearing, Pisces. Be confident in where it is that... You know, you get the point, Pisces. But um, that's the reading that I have for you this week, Pisces. I hope you found some cards that resonate with you this week. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this reading. Uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, Pisces, my website's down below, simplyvelka.com. All my social medias are TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, everything, darling. Simply Velka. Um, and yeah, Pisces, I think that's it. If you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them one of my videos and maybe we'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well pisces and uh yeah i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future pisces thank you so much for allowing me to do this i love you so much